Khalis, as you know very well, he led in Kufa for a period of four months, uh, four years, some said seven months, some said four years and a half. Al Mohim, what were the features of the leadership skills of Imam Amin al Mu'minin? Well, I tell you, if leadership of our communities can learn these skills from Imam Amir al Mu'minin, we will be able to lead our communities or our congregations or our organizations to the best destination which is desired by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number one feature of the leadership style of Imam Amir al Mu'minin is that. Imam made us understand that leadership is wasila and not a daya. When you are a leader, know that that is not the aim, it's a means to the aim. If you are the leader of an organization, or you are the leader of a congregation, or you are a leader at university, understand that you being a leader, that's not the aim, it is means to the aim. What is the aim? The aim is to please Allah and the aim is to prepare for the reappearance of the Imam of our time. So whoever is holding leadership position within our communities, you need to understand that you are not there for your own sake. You are not there for your own selfish interest. You are not there for your own selfish desire, but rather you are there to prepare for the reappearance of the Imam of our time. I give you an example. Some companions of Amir al muminin came to me in Kufa, and they said to Imam Amir al muminin when they entered his house, they saw Imam, as usual, living a very simple life. Imam was sitting on a smart, on a mat, so this person told Imam Ali, why are you sitting on a mat when the entire Islamic treasury is under you? You have the money under you. Why can't you buy something nice for yourself? Then Imam looked at him and said to him, whatever you see with me are the things I brought with me from Medina. Then he said, Atamburuni and Atluba Nasra bil Jamuri. Do you want me to seek victory by committing injustice? And you remember that beautiful tradition. Amir al Muni said, if you give me the entire continent, just for me to sin against Allah for like an atom, I, Ali, will not do that. So therefore, the first sima, min sima ti qiyada ti amin al-mu'mineen alayhi salam, anna al-qiyada wasilatun wa laysat bi-ghaya. Leadership is wasila, it's not a ghaya. That's number one. Number two, leadership style of Imam Ali is what? Al-Hissul Ijtima'i. Imam had a sense of community. Imam's leadership was about love for people. Imam's leadership was about reaching out to people. Imam's leadership was ensuring that people under him were treated equally. Imam's leadership was not about nepotism. Imam's leadership was not about marginalization. Imam's leadership was not about segregation. And hence, allow me to quote what Amir al muminin explains about his leadership when it comes to al-ihsas, Bi mujtama. Imam had this love for community. He had this love for people that he was leading. You know, someone again came to Ali alayhi salam, Harun ibn Antara. Harun said to Imam Amir al muminin alayhi salam, Why are you eating this type of a food? 
when you can buy the best of all food. You know what Imam Ali said to him? Imam looked at him. And Imam said to him, لو شئت لاحتديت إلى مصفى هذا العصر ولباب هذا الكمح ونسائج هذا القز Imam said, Wallah, ya antara, if I had wished, I would have benefited from the taste of this honey. I have benefited from the, these treasures of the wheat and the food that you see. Then he said, I heart, an yaglibani hawaya, aw yakudani jashi'i ila takhayyuri al-at'ima. Imam said, far be it from me to allow my selfish desire and my selfish interest to eat different varieties of food at the expense of the people that I lead. You know what Imam Ali said? وَلَعَلَّ بِالْيَمَامُ وَالْهِجَازِ مَنْ لَا أَحَدَ لَهُ بِالْتَعَمْ أَوْ بِالْكُرْسِ Allahu Akbar. Imam said, maybe in Yemen and in Hijaz, there are those who don't even have what to eat daily. أَعَبِيتُ مُبْتَانًا وَحَوْلِي بُتُونِ غَرْثِي وَأَكْبَادَ هِرِّي أَأُكْنَا أَنْ يُكَالُ لِي أَمِيرُ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَلَا أُشَارِكُهُمْ فِي مَكَارِهِ الدَّهَرِ Amir al-Muni say, Will I be able to sleep at night when around me there are neighbors who are going to sleep without food? Will I be happy to be called Amir al-Mu'mineen when I don't share the pains of their life. So the second quality of the leadership skills of Imam Ali is what? Imam had love for his community. Imam would never leave his community behind. That's number two. The third feature of the leadership skills or style of Imam Ali is ash shafafiya Imam never had ulterior motive. Imam Ali was genuine in his leadership. Imam would never hide anything from the people that he used to lead. And beautiful in his teachings, Imam will say, وَلَكُمْ عَلَيَّ أَلَّا أَحْتَجِزَ دُونَكُمْ سِرًّا إِلَّا فِي حَبْ he said, Wallah, it is your right on me not to keep anything secret from you, except maybe things that have to do with battles. And then Imam continued to say, Walakum indi fil haqqi sawa. All of you are equal to me, Ali. And he said, it is incumbent upon me to be sincere to all of you and to be obedient to you. So therefore, the third quality of the leadership of Imam Amir is what? Imam would never hide anything from the people that he led if it was things that had to do with them. Today, you find in our community, sometimes our leadership are doing something, nobody knows what is happening. You will all of a sudden start seeing things in the community, and when you ask a question, it becomes a problem. But Amir al muminin he had what is called Shafafiya. Most of you know Arabic. Shafafiya means he was very lenient. He would consult them. He would approach them. In fact, Allah in Quran advised the Holy Prophet of Islam to do the same, isn't it? Allah will tell prophets, consult them. Shawiruhum fil amr. Consult them in the affairs. But for Isa Azam Tafatawakal on Allah. But once you have decided and then you depend on Allah. Fourth feature of the leadership skills of Imam Ali is what? Al Hisab. Imam was a leader who was accountable leader. Imam Amir al Mu'mineen would not spend a cent or pence of a baytul mal without informing the people. You know this incident very well. When Talha and Zubair visited Amir al-Mu'minin, 
Amir had a candle which was lit already. The moment Tala and Zubair entered, Imam switched off that candle and he lit a new one. So Tala and Zubair look at Imam Ali. What's the difference between these two candles? Imam said, this one is for Baitul Mal and this one is for my personal. And I know you are not coming for anything that has to do with religion. You are coming for your own personal thing. This is the leadership of Amir al Today we have sometimes in our community, monies are being spent anyhow. And nobody has the God to ask. You ask, you get labeled from the community. You get chucked out from the community. Amir al muminin was a leader who accounted for everything that he spent for the sake of Islamic Ummah and for the sake of Islamic community. And the last quality of the leadership style of Imam Ali is what? Amir al muminin alayhi salam would always regard people's suggestions. If someone would come to Imam with suggestion, Imam will not throw the person away. Imam will not belittle the person by telling the person, no, who are you to suggest to me? Imam would always take people's suggestion. In that beautiful tradition, man jama'a ukula nasi ilayhi a'akalun nas. Imam said the most intellectual person is the one who joins his mind to that of others. So as a leader, you need to always listen to people. Don't just take decision or no, don't chase people away when they come with their suggestion. That is what Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi afdal salawat al-musalleen left for us as a legacy. So therefore, brothers and sisters, whoever amongst us is aspiring to become a leader or to lead our community, I'm talking of Shi'i community, I'm talking of our mosques, our Husayniyas, Absorbs on campuses. Read the leadership skills and style of Imam Amir al-Mu'mineen. 